in this video, we are going to talk about separable differential equation, which we all know is part of the topic in AP Calculus AB, but also it's in multivariable. So nice to know that. So what's the separable differential equation? Well, normally um, in your textbook, you probably see an equation called um, m x plus y dx equals zero, and this is basically saying that m is continuous function of x alone, and n is a continuous function of y alone. And for this type of equation, all x terms can be collected with dx, and all y terms can be with dy. And a solution can be obtained by integration. Such equations are said to be separable. And the solution procedure is called separation of variable. So basically, to simplify it, it is saying that if you can separate an equation into fx, dx equal f y well maybe let's don't use f gy dy and then you can integral both sides this is a separable differential equation so um let me give a example say that uh we have an equation of y point equal to um, 2x over y. You can say y, y prime equal 2x by multiply two sides by y. And let me write y prime into uh, dy dx. So now I times both sides by dx. So we get y dy y equal 2x dx which show me this equation is separable and i can solve this equation by integral both sides c now is just a constant i mean you can plus constant on both sides but plus and constant on both sides same as plus and constant on one side it's just the constant may be a different number so I can solve for y saying that uh, it's just basic algebra. So y x will be set minus 2x squared plus a constant c, which is basically the explicit form of the equation. Or I could just leave it in implicit form which will be y squared minus 2x squared equals c. And when you are doing the test, a suggestion is to check your result by taking the differentiation of the equation to see if you get the same result before you integral. I can do it with implicit or do it with explicit. It will probably give me the same result. When you're doing the test, just choose the one that you think is easiest. So next, we are going to talk about um, real life application. So um, one, of the, one of the real life application most probably know will be the um, Newton's law of cooling. Um, it's a physics law stating that uh, if you place an object at temperature T into a room held at a constant temperature T now, the object temperature will approach the room temperature at a rate proportional to the difference between object temperature and the room temperature. So basically saying that um, I have an object temperature T, I have a room temperature of temperature naught, then uh, the and the change in temperature of the object, which will be dt dt, will equal to something proportional to the difference between the object temperature and the room temperature. So proportional. 
So it will give us a equation like this. So dt dt equal k, which is a random constant, t minus t naught. Um, so let's uh, do a practice problem that will help you gain a better understanding of it. So say if an object was um, let's see. if an object was initially at a uh, one hundred degrees Celsius and uh, is placed in a room of about sixty degrees Celsius. Okay, 16 degrees Celsius is okay to burn you to death. That's not a good example. Um, so say an uh, object of 100 degree Fahrenheit was placed in a room of 16 degree Fahrenheit. And the object cools to uh, 90 degree Fahrenheit in 10 minutes. So how long will it take the object to cool to 18 degree Fahrenheit? So let's first show you that this equation is separable. Well, this equation is separable because dt divided by t minus t naught will equal k dt, and you can take the integral of both sides. We all agree on that. And we know right here that uh, T naught was 60 degree Fahrenheit because that's the temperature of the room. So uh, we have the integration of uh, dt over t minus 60 equaled k dt. And then it will give us, it's just basic algebra. If you already touched this unit, you probably know how to do this. We put a e on both sides, which will give us um, t minus 60 equal um, e k t plus c naught, and that will be t minus 60 equal e k t e c naught. And we know um, E C naught will just be a constant, and that will give us something known as T equal C E K T plus sixty. And consider this is a real life scenario. C will probably be bigger than zero, and then um, K was definitely smaller than zero because your temperature was going to change that uh, things have a higher temperature than your room temperature. It's Newton's law of cooling, so cooling. And um, we have a uh, two situation, which is when initially the object was at 100 degree Fahrenheit and at 10 minutes it's at 90 degree Fahrenheit. We have two constants in this equation and we have two situations, so we can definitely solve this equation. So let's say when t was zero, E K T will be one, so C plus sixty was T, and T is one hundred. C equal to forty. Ninety was equal to forty E ten K plus sixty. So basically saying that thirty was equal to thirty over forty was equal to E ten K. 3 over 4 will give us 10k. So 1 over 10 ln of 3 over 4 equals k. And all you need to do is type it into the calculator. You pro probably get something of um, negative 0 0.02877 from this equation. So uh, let's write on the top of what we get as our final equation, which is t as a function of small t was 40 e negative 0.2877 t plus 60. And what's our problem? We need to find uh, when will it reach about um, 80 degree, right? So plug um, 
80 right here and then solve for t 24.09 minutes thank you